ready? Okay, well, we got a 2014 Chevy Cruze. We are going to install the uh, screen, the uh, aftermarket screen. Uh, you call it Tesla screen or Android screen. So in order to take this out, we're going to pry this out starting from here and then work itself up like this and then come over here and do the same thing. Pry it out like this. If it doesn't come out, you can try it over here a little bit, but make sure you use a plastic piece if you use around here. Or uh, if you're using a metal, just put some kind of cloth or something like that to hold it. So once you work that out, you got this loose a little bit. You're going to pry this up right here from here. Push this out like this and then come out and then do the same. Don't, don't, don't try to pull it out yet. Pry it out like this. The whole thing will just come out like that. So right now, we are going to take the 7mm, take this two bottom piece out, and put the screw in here, see how much, what's in the back of this. Got that out, and then this button right here. Pull this blue piece out a little bit. Trying to get flat head. Trying to pull it out. They pull it out about that much and then push this in. I'm going to have to pull it out a little bit more. Push that. Try it. Pull it out. Push that bottom like this in and then pull it out. So, well, redo <laughs> that part. We're gonna have to. Uh, we just found out that in in order to take this whole piece out, you're gonna have to take this out too. So I'm gonna go uh, down here. Here, I'm gonna go down here and pry this out, starting from here. Actually, it's too much right there. So start from here, right there. Push it up like this, up right there, and then the same thing, try to work with it, easy with it. <coughs> and once you've got this loose a little bit right there, you want to work out from the top, okay? You want to go on the corner right here, and start working up, up top right there. Pry it out a little bit right there with the flat head if you using a flat just be careful don't damage anything right there once you get this piece out a bit then now you can pry this side right here out once you get that out don't pull it out because you're going to break this part again so basically come over here again work itself up upward now, now you got this off and pull it out like that and you got a bunch of screw i'm going to show you the screw that we're going to take out we got this, this, that, and that. And then we got to take this uh, ashtray piece out too. There's two screw right here out. So we're going to take all that screw out. All right. Well, uh, now we got all the screw out. So I'm going to try to pry this out. Making sure there ain't no other screw right around there. pretty tight Let's see what's behind that oh yeah just pry a little bit harder to come out yep take a flat head and a pry and pry that out once you get it out you don't have to take it all the way out so just take this much out like this and then reach the seven millimeter in there and make sure you kind of hold it so the screw don't come out Ooh. And then it'll be like that. Got that out. Now the radio should just slide out, maybe. Oh, man. We got to get that out, too. So we're going to take this two out right here. And then it should just come out. Here, I 
think we might have to hide this somehow. We might have to take this piece out and leave it in there for this. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Let me just unplug that. And then now we got two more screw behind that. Take it out. And then now, can, can you see right there? Mm -hmm. So now you push this. Not sure yet. Take a. Try it out. It should just come out without pushing this. You can push that lip right there out and then pry it out. Should hurt it. Uh, this part I'm not sure yet. Then you take a flat, yeah, a flat hat. Yes. Pull it backward. Just bring it out. Uh, there's a clip right here. Hey, give me a, give me a light. I can't see that. There. There's a piece right there. Yep. Push that down and then let it go out like that. That's it. We are going to run a navigation, the GPS antenna over there on the right corner right here. But first of all, we're going to take this part out, uh, the glove compartment out, by lifting like this. And it should come. It's something else that might hold it. that from there and all the way in here and here we got this USB port right here we're gonna run it out here too so that way here hand it to me right there yep that's for the USB port for the uh, uh, phone telephone cell phone and let me see it probably have more than one yeah it's got more than one right here you got another one right here we're gonna run that now I'm going to hook the antenna up, plug into the matching one. It should be the black one right here. I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I've seen something like this. I'm not sure if it's a microphone or just a speaker. I think it's a speaker for like a little speaker for like a, a, a door chime or something like that. I'm not sure what this is yet, but... Uh, uh, it just had a uh, tape right here just peel that off and tape it somewhere behind the radio I think it should be fine I don't think it's a microphone microphone wouldn't be that big so I mount it right there okay this is plug and play what I mean by plug and play all the wiring are match so you just plug it in anything that's not fitting it's not gonna work so just plug it all and uh antenna right there and make sure you plug this piece this piece control the uh uh <clears throat> the the heater the climate control and everything right there this little piece are uh, nice i mean you'll see once it's uh done installed and make sure you plug this wire back here too this will sync to the uh i mean it's using data it's synced to the uh uh the screen right here so whatever it's doing before it's gonna do better so uh, now I'm gonna put everything back so I'll show you the finished product Trying to put that back, make sure all the wine go like that. And then this clip right there, this two clip, it's gonna stay up there like that. And then you push it down, make sure nothing is behind there and holding damage anything. So I got a screw like like there. I was stuck in my hands. Seven millimeter back. <clears throat>
shit back in there like that and screw it everything back. A lot of screw. It's gonna be an extra screw because some screw we don't need. A few screw that we don't use to put it back. There's a screw behind the screen. There's four of them that we don't need to use. But other than that, you're gonna use every one of them. Make sure the plug is back in here right and put it right there. Start from here first. And then now coming down here, try to match this hole. Oop. Gotta get in the hole right. Push that in first and work your way down. So let's see, I'm making sure all the screws are in. All the screws are good. So we got four screws left, just like I mentioned earlier. And then now we come in with this piece. Start with the get in the hole first. Snap that a little bit. Make sure you don't hit it too hard. And then we're gonna turn it on. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold the camera. Wow, look at that. See, it tell the doors open, the speedometer on there, and it tell the temperature, watch. If I move that, if I move this, see how it is? It'll tell me in uh, Fahrenheit, I think. It's not in, uh, you probably can change Fahrenheit, not Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius. And you can turn it up, down, and that low high whatever or the seat heated seat and all that stuff is it's going to be adjusted so i'm going to put on bluetooth uh i have timmy go ahead and play the music as you can see right here you can see the uh song what song we're playing and everything like that uh, right there so you can pause right there uh i didn't want youtube to block me from that so that's it look how nice it is i'm gonna take a good picture of that one Yes, it's nice. So, done. I mean, it's a, a, a bunch of uh, apps. If you want to look at a few apps, look at all these apps that you got. You got YouTube, you got video, you link it to your phone. Uh, not your phone, your hotspot. Uh, your phone hotspot, you can download, you can play radio, you can Google Map. Uh, YouTube and all that stuff, but uh, that is up to the uh, customer how they want to proceed from there and that is nice Let me get uh, some light on here real quick Nice Look how nice it is You look from the out here you look look how nice it is you can see that yeah. All right, guys. I forgot to mention that uh, what's so nice thing about this. I'm outside right now. It looks really, really pretty. They call it beautiful. Uh, anyway, uh, you wanna, you can act like actually, you know, you don't even, you know, it, let's say you're gonna buy this uh, uh, of an aftermarket from Metro mounting kit, such and such. You're gonna pay a lot of money just by buying the mounting kit and the harness and everything and the uh, steering wheel control, everything. You probably spend a good $200, two hundred, two three hundred dollar already. Why not get like this and look how nice it is? And you probably can change the color of this car too. Uh, anyway, you press source right there. You can play your music or you can play your radio station and such and such. You can turn the, the up and down. See the volume go up and down. I didn't want to turn the music on because like like I said earlier, YouTube. So all works. So steering wheel works really good. Well thanks guys for watching. Uh, uh like, share and subscribe so I can uh add more video for you guys that uh interest in the car audio and equipments and sounds and so forth and and on i mean i did spend a lot of time trying to video while i'm trying to get some job done so help me subscribe and like and stay connected